You're playing the piano, right? But you don't have a good tempo. That's right. You are playing fast, but then you're playing slow. But then you're playing fast, but then slow. Now, normally to fix this, you would take a metronome and play with it, right? At the same time, the metronome would be popping next to it, go boop. And you're playing next to it, right? To keep yourself in line. But what I suggest is that you get a friend to hold a Snapple cap and in a timely manner go pop, 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 pop. Just just do that like for a long time and they'll get in they'll get in a rhythm and it'll be a nice steady beat and just use that instead of a metronome. It'll save you like five dollars on a metronome. Use them as the wheels of a car. Okay, so you take your pillowcase and you shove like 500 Snapple caps in it, right? And then you sleep on it and you have a Snapple pillow, right? Snapple pillows are amazing. They're unbearably uncomfortable, but they have a really cool name, so I think that it settles itself. A Snapple cap is like a little tiny cup which you can drink out of. Just like that. That's your Snapple cap. You take a stick, like this pencil here, and you attach it to it, right? And then you can use it as a shovel to shovel out the dirt from your garden. Yeah. As I've mentioned earlier, the Snapple caps have little, little facts on the back, so instead of like getting your friend to give you advice about something, just look on the back of the Snapple cap and use it as an endless source of advice. And if you get enough Snapple caps, you will have an endless supply of knowledge. And knowledge is golden. Well, you, you tape them and glue them together to form a conglomerate thing which you store money in. I'm going to call it a wallet. This one is kind of confusing and it doesn't make much sense even to me. So, let's say it is a device which you can take a smaller circular device and put it inside. Like, you take your Snapple cap and then you put a smaller bottle cap inside of it, and then you can store it there for a long time. And it's like having a jacket for arm. New light source. You're gonna take your pet and you're gonna you're gonna glue the snapple caps to their feet so that whenever this cat walks or dog, doesn't really matter, cat or dog, whenever it walks it makes little popping noises, which will amuse yourself and possibly the cat, too. Paint it red. Okay. Take it. Attach a stick. You now have a spoon. Take it. Attach a handle. You now have a frying pan. A stone for skipping on the water. Make a tree out of them. Okay. Flatten them and use them as roof shingles when you're reshingling a roof. Put them all over your music studio so that you can insulate the sound from the outside. Then you'll have a very professional music studio which you can make noise in. 42. Use it to ascertain the meaning of life. Yeah, I went there. Store water in. So, let's assume that you have an infinite span of, of um, of space, right? You have an infinite space that way, that way, that way, and that way, right? So, one by one, you lay down your infinite source of Snapple caps to make a really large computer, right? But use Snapple caps instead of rocks. I'm referencing XKCD. Hockey puck. Make roller blades out of them. Simply sharpen the edges, and you have a convenient circle your lure, cir circle you lure, cookie cutter.
You can make endless amounts of cookies with a circular cookie 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 cutter. Place on the bottom of your shoes to make them higher. You take your laptop and you put them all over it to make it both cool and protected from the elements. Use it as a device to put on top of a container which stores liquid. Right, so you take you take your snapper cap and you're gonna twist it onto a glass container which you can put some liquid in, such as snapple. And then you have a way of making sure that the liquid doesn't fall out when you put it upside down. I think this is quite clever. Probably the best use for them, actually. Just for you, Sam, I threw in an extra one. That's right. So let's hear it. Number fifty-one. Make. Two pyramids. There you go. A perfect list. Every possible thing you could ever want a Snapple cap to do. Now, I have no idea if any of it is remotely possible because I have not a single Snapple cap in my house. But that's okay. Does my list satisfy you? I hope so. Anyways, I spend a lot of time thinking about the possible uses of Snapple caps which I have recently realized isn't as much fun as it sounds. So, seeing as you are usually busy, you know, lurk lurking, sitting in parked cars, you seem to be a respectable person who I can ask advice from. So, what do you think I should do in my spare time? They say time is money, and from that point of view, I'm rich. But strangely, I think I would be happier if I had less time. Like, if I were more occupied, I'd probably be a more satisfied person. What do you think? How could I spend my time? 